voices in my head They counsel me, they understand, they talk to me This is one of my bugbears of, and I suppose I'd be considered part of it in a way, but of what is called the commentariat, you know, which are usually highly educated um, art students yeah. <laughs> um, who spend a lot of time thinking and watching the news and reading books and, you know, having these kinds of discussions and live in the inner city. The amount of times I've had discussions with people, that exact thing kind of going, what do you mean? I mean, we're not comparatively, we're not very racist. Like, where? Like, who were you talking about? You know, and it's not as simple as saying, oh, it's only in the country or it's only in the outer suburbs either. But to live in this particular commentariat, um, you know, it's a terrible description, but the latte set kind of bubble, yeah, you probably don't hear a lot of overt racism, but when you go into workplaces and into people's families and in other contexts outside of that, you hear it all the time. Yeah. All the time, and sexism, and homophobia, and whatever else. What is with feminist and red hair these days? Greetings, I am the Atheist Gamer, and today I'm just going to make this video relatively short because there's, literally, there's really nothing much I can say about it. It's stupid, and I'm a sucker for stupidity. Like this women against feminism and mm. femini we, we don't need feminism anymore. And I read a really beautiful article that basically said if you don't feel like you need feminism anymore because you potentially live in a western country and you have a job and you have a car and you have the ability to get a house and a partner, mm. whatever, good on you. Yeah. Excellent work. Awesome. But there are still people in Africa and Ethiopia who are being sold mm. at 14 mm. or less mm. for sex. So mm. those, like, that's great that you don't feel like you need it mm. anymore, mm. but can we please remember that there is a broader... Mm. Yes, these are legitimate issues, but explain on how feminism is going to magically solve these problems or how feminism is going to benefit. You can, you know, care about these problems and still not be a feminist. You could be a humanist or an, e or an equalist or whatever. I mean, I, I can't do shit about these problems, but, and I wish I could. I really wish I could donate at least a little bit of cash to help some people. Unfortunately, I have no money. I need someone to donate money to me to order for me to help other people and stuff. I'm, I'm going to have to make a Patreon page. Point is that you're using them as some sort of shield in order to say that this is why we need feminism. Look, I can say that this is why we need atheism and it would be just as effective. Okay, so please don't bring up this bullshit. Well, and can we also remember that feelings can be wrong? You know, if you've ever listened to Talkback Radio, you would know, well, I just feel like I'm being treated poorly, or I just feel like I don't need feminism. Well, then read a book. My God, you're a lot smarter than I thought. Maybe you should take your own advice. You know, I'm sorry, read some facts, because we still don't have equal pay. I fucking knew it. I... Ugh, this stupid wage gap argument again. Look, I'm just gonna leave a link in the description. A few links. You know, one of them is, toward, is from the factual feminist. Yes, she's a feminist just like you. And she provided some facts to show the amount of bullshit that the same feminists have brought up over and over and over again. And I can provide facts that women are not being paid less because of vagina. Women are being are earning less because uh, just a few factors, just gonna point them out. One, they choose lower power lower paying jobs, they choose to work less, and they tend more they're less likely to um, work overtime, they're less, they're more likely to take more vacation days off, more sick days off, and let's see, men are more likely to die from their jobs, so, um, let's see, what else, oh yeah, women, the majority of women have the most spending power, men have to divide up their cash amongst the children and their freaking wives, 
So how dare we earn more cash? Um, women's right to choose is still under threat. Um, details? We still have only had one female Prime Minister in our entire history of Parliament. Oh my God! It's sexist to have only one woman among many, many men in Congress, even though not many women actually want to be in Congress. But that's sexism. Look, a lack of women or a lack of anything doesn't make it sexist, racist, or prejudiced towards anything or anyone. Okay? It's not a need for feminism. If you want, if more women want to join Congress or whatever, then that's fine. I'm not against that. However, as long as women don't have that much interest in this shit, it's not fucking sexist. We've got one woman in cabinet. I mean, you know, you could go on and the, the poverty stats for women are significantly higher. Domestic violence, you know, sexual assault. The whole, there's a range of stats and facts that you can throw at anybody to show how important feminism still is. Oh, geez. I wonder if feminists will actually care about the 10% of homeless shelters only being for men. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, yeah caring about how much men have to serve more prison time than women on how hmm, men have to go to fucking war while women don't. Yeah, I wonder if feminists actually care about those things. Having said that, do I give a shit if someone says I don't want to call myself a feminist? I really don't. And I don't care to some degree about those debates. You know, I think that, again, the commentariat gets far too focused on, well, she said she's a feminist, but she doesn't believe this, and, oh, those people don't say that. What are they doing is what I'm interested in. Again, we have something in common. Hmm. You're not like the rest of the red hair feminists. You're stupid, but you're slightly more educated. You know, because I've heard people, I've seen young women who are part of, say, anti-violence campaigns, for example, who are actively fighting against sexual violence against women and, and domestic violence, who say, no, no, I'm not a feminist. And I think, all right, okay, you are, but okay. You believe in equality, therefore you're a feminist. That's the bullshit argument. Next. You know, if you don't want to identify as that, that what's it got to do with me? As long as you are um, doing good works, you know, to me they're feminist works, but if they don't like that label, that's okay. It's not the label, it's the actions. And, you know, what you just said, easily debunkable, this, no, this, this is nothing, this is nothing special. You guys probably wasted your time watching another feminist video where you could just watch a video of PewDiePie or something. Then again, I must be more entertaining than PewDiePie. I am the Atheist Gamer, peace. The if you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and of course, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google+. We all know Google+, fucking sucks.